wonderful people how are you doing are you still with me are you still watching subscribing and sharing this content kama kawaida i'm your girl linda kenyita and this is dog tv the best documentary channel for all dog lovers and i am still with eugene of naf kennels and we are visiting another kennels and as you can see we have some awesome beasts here these are Wow, what are they? Introduce, reintroduce yourself and introduce this breed that is visible right now. I'm Eugene from North Kennels. Uh, these are St. Bernard's. They're not that old. The oldest is three years. The youngest is 11 months. Yeah. Now, Eugene, before we move on, we, I've seen your other kennels. And this is a different setup. This is more of a farm setup. And in this farm, there are other animals. And the way I know with other animals comes issues of pests. What are you doing? Like, or how do you control pests in such a scenario? Like I said, we wash our kennels daily, but here we use regularly pest, pest products daily, because you can see there are bushes here. So, uh, insects, they're more, they're more likely to be around. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the key factor is using pest control pesticides. Yeah, pesticides in short. Mm -hmm. Since you're a kennel that love big breeds of dogs, what advice would you give somebody who wants to acquire a big dog as a pet? First, make sure the breed, you can handle the breed. Uh, handling in terms of feeding it, giving it a humble playtime, good compound, maybe where, where it can relax, it can move around. Yeah. For somebody who's meeting the St. Bernard's for the f first time today, uh, would you kindly take us through their temperaments? Generally, they are calm dogs. They are Latin dogs. Uh, they are playful. But you can also use them for security when trained. Yeah, but we don't advocate for training because it's a big dog you can't handle it when it's angry yeah that will be a major problem when it comes to the health well-being the, the well-being of the saint bernard's do they have any kind of specific health challenges and also how is the adaptability to our weather challenges maybe dental challenges but it's mostly unlikely to happen because of regular vet checking. Other challenge might be the feeding. Yeah, you need to maintain the, the figure, the masculinity, the physicality of the dog. This is a big dog, so it requires more energy. So the challenge is feeding it well enough. You, must, you, you should know how to feed a St. Bernard well enough to be, to be strong and healthy the way these are. You have different breeds of dogs in, in by the all through the kennels you have different breeds of dogs. How how do you avoid uh, cross breeding of the dogs? That might be a challenge, but we try and keep them. We try and keep each male with the female of the same breed. So and for play for playtime we don't associate them together the different breeds that we have. We take each breed outside at a time, so it's unlikely, crossbreeding is unlikely to happen. We are in Karen, we have another kennel here, we have big dogs too here, we have a Caucasian, uh, nine months old this one, it's a male. We have St. Bernard's, big bond, this is the oldest one, a male, three years. The female is here too. Uh, purposely for breeding. We're expecting a litter mid next year maybe. When the female is ready. Another male St. Bernard. Two and a half years this one. The female is two years old. Uh, the litter is almost finished. Only two puppies are remaining. This is our big boy Kingston. Kingston. Two years old. The female is here. She, she's called Sissy. One and a half years.
We have a big German Shepherd here, three years and a half. Sable black in color. Uh, we have a Russian Terrier, seven months old. We have a Husky here, Max. Other small Huskies, six months old. Not yet ready for breeding, but on the process. We have a Doberman also, a female, 1.2 years. Caucasian, one year. We have a husky, 11 months, up. A retriever. I'm learning is that when it comes to the big dogs and if you think that big dogs are your thing you need to have space for them and I think this is quite a good example of, of how you see how cool they are and how composed they are so if you're thinking about uh, getting a big dog one of the most important thing to consider is do you have the space for it can you feed that dog well enough so, yes, do your checklist and then think about it. And Kama Kawaida, I'm your girl Linda Kenyita, and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Until the next one, see you. Keep watching, keep subscribing.